Hello everyone, welcome to Cornflower Crafts. I'm Corn, and I'm up here working on some pockets for the uh, journal slash scrapbook that I'm working on, and I thought maybe y'all would like to join. And um, this one I've already done, but I haven't glued these guys down yet, but I wanted to show you um, what I'm doing on the pockets. So taking my stencils and just doing, you know, a little bit here, 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 and here with that. I got that stencil off of Amazon. Then I took, um, and that's done with a vintage photo. Then I took a stamp from Stampendous, a script stamp, and then just, as you see, just did three sections. And then I took my salvage patina, distress oxide, watered it down, and did some splatters and um, then this piece is cardstock with lace on it um, from seven gypsies this adorable let me see if I whoops if I get it close enough picture of a dancing couple that have were given flowers I've got I cut this off to where I was hoping it looked like a crown and uh, that piece goes there then this is one of my fabric uh, clusters held together with a brad and a lot of people were saying that's a great idea to do the brad um, I haven't seen others do it I haven't watched all the videos on fabric clusters but I hadn't seen others do it but I've learned that if I think oh I think that's original and then later on you see oh somebody posted two years ago that <laughs> or something like that so it's like oh Guess not. And I, I think I've learned that when it comes to creating, a lot of creators have the same idea, you know. And then this is just a little piece of cardstock that is uh, music. And then I adhered this darling ballerina here. Then a little snippet there. And then a ticket here that I fussy cut out of some paper. So I thought that's what that's going to, or, or close, is going to look like on that one. And then the one that I haven't done yet, because one's for the front of the cover and one for the back. And this is one of my uh, clusters that I did with um, paper and little lace and a little knitting and uh, then again another little piece of uh, music paper here that I've torn and then went around with um, the vintage photo and then this is cardstock with a mint green lace on it and then I fussy cut around top and bottom and then adhered a little piece of pink doily here and then this stamp is graphic 45 and I did an oval die cut for that one and then went around it in spun sugar and I thought she looked like she was in the balcony of the theater watching either the ballet or a musical concert or musical theater with her uh, feather fan there uh, staying cool. <laughs> so let's pull these guys over here because we know we want those. And first, let's do some stenciling. I pulled this one um, again from Amazon. And yes, it sure does look as far as like a big old tag. Doesn't that look like a Tim Holtz stencil? I know. Actually, this feels like this is the front. Hmm, interesting. So, what I will do, though, in order to save my mat just a little bit, you all have seen this before. I put this under so much until either I use a section of it, because I think it turned out cool, or I'm like, ooh, nothing turned out cool, and I recycle. <laughs> so, I put it here so that there's not going to be any lines or the best we can do 
without lines. And this is the vintage photo. And let me, having to put it out like that. As you all know, with my eyesight, everything usually gets super close. So let's see how we do. Just a little bit here and there. Maybe go out towards the center a little, even though it'll be covered up. Maybe go down to the bottom here. I like it when we're a little bit um, lighter in spots and darker in others. Oh yeah, but I shouldn't have <laughs> kept it so. <laughs> Let's do this. We'll maybe put the heart here. Maybe just go like so. Yeah. And then just at the bottom here. And I will clean that off as soon as we're done. So let me place that. Where am I placing it? <laughs> okay. And a um, little stamping. And that I'm going to do with um, this Ranger dry, uh, dry, dye ink pad in Cuckoo. This is Stampendous, and this one has all these little wonderful, hopefully you can see these little tiny marks all over it. It's cool looking once you see it. See? See how it, isn't that cool? Just the end here. Yeah, there we go. And again, I'll clean that. As soon as we're done. Okay. And I need to move things because I found that when I do my splatters, boy, do I do my splatters. <laughs> um, let me get out this little palette here. And instead of the green, or should I do the green? Should we do the green or should we do the pink on this one? Hmm. We've kind of got equal pink and green represented on the decoration. Um, let's do, let's do the green. Okay. 
going to set this over there. Even though I got some of them quite washed, as you see. <laughs> um, I'll dry it in a second, guys. I've got to switch out my uh, hot glue gun for my heat gun. And I'm going to go ahead and just take some, let me see, I got this. Oh, I don't want to waste heat. So let's just go ahead and use it. A piece of white cardstock. There we go. I don't like the way that looks. Okay. Give this a, oh yeah, I like that. I better. Alrighty. So before I wipe this off, I just you know didn't want to waste it. I've done things you know with you guys where I was like ooh. Oh boy, look at that. That definitely got on the back. Um, where I'm like, oh no, no, no. I wasted it, you know, <laughs> where I could have been putting it on something. <laughs> I think that's one thing a lot of us crafters do not like to do. We don't like to waste things. No, that's like a near new. <laughs> have to put things up so hopefully they'll behave themselves and dry. Okay, let me unplug one thing and plug in another. That means move a lot of stuff. But I'd rather, I like it when the splatters dry naturally, but, sorry for all that noise, but, um, since we're doing this together, that can't be. Normally, I just let them dry naturally. It's, I like them better that way, but. made them quite large in certain areas. It is kind of fun, though, to see them go from wet to dry, you know? It's kind of fun. Okay. Alrighty. Now. Let's see here. And we've got this. Look how that turned out, guys. Isn't that gorgeous? I love how feathered out here. We'll use that probably on a tag for this project. Okay, and again, I was thinking about this here. Then, this is my plan. See, that's what I was saying. A lot of it's going to be covered up, but that happens. That happens. 
going to be like so. And then her. There. It got so much on it, but I kind of liked having it. Um, I wonder if we did this. Let's do this. Let's make this just a little bit smaller. show yeah I think that's gonna look better and there's the heart there you know so I think that's gonna look better like that okay and then this one like so we get some stenciling some stamping a little stamping here um, I'm gonna bring this to just a little bit under my stenciling there. Now I'm gonna get my fingers all gluey, but that's been happening with this Fabri-Tac. So, the Hoppins. So how are you all doing? Are you working on a project that you're super happy with? Are you working on a project that you're doing a bunch of new stuff with and it's exciting? Well, I'm enjoying working on this. I'm doing so many things I've never done before. And for me, that's exciting. This to me is you kick off your shoes and dance, baby. <laughs> Just kick off your shoes, dance, have a beautiful, beautiful time. Enjoy yourself. And do whatever kind of dance you want. Okay. And I already checked to see where this was going to fall on the back cover. And I can go over a little bit. I want to hang over the edge. Um, I've done that in the past and I learned, uh-oh, I went over too far. Now I have to cut some of it off and I just, I mean, it's no big deal, but it's a little disappointing when you had everything set out the way you wanted. So maybe that, to show that stamping there, stencil here, that there, that there, and then I think she needs a little something else. So, let's do this. I like that um, pail. I'll show you the lace if you're interested that I'm talking about. Isn't that sweet? I have no idea where I got it. 
probably a thrift store. I don't, I have no idea. I've had it so long. Then we'll put her here. Let's, um, let's look for something for her. Let's see. I pulled out this box. Do y'all remember these from Dollar Tree? Love the gold and pink together. And, uh, so we've got, let's see, we've got the white, I'm not feeling, <laughs> we've got a little one in white that I need to cut um, one of the threads off. That one, maybe. Not feeling that either. We've got these teeny tiny crocheted ones with the pink center. It's cute, but I'm not feeling that either. Ooh, okay. I think we found it. Although I have to cut this little tiny thread off too. What is happening with the threads? Maybe like so. Ooh, I like that. Okay. Or let me place it down here. So you're kind of going. Mm -hmm. Okay. I need to put something in the center. And before when I've used these, I've put a bread. I don't think I'm going to do a bread on this pocket. Um, I don't think a button would look good unless it was a super pretty button. Um, what is up here? Sometimes I've got stuff, as you know, all over the desk. Okay, I've got these. I've got these flat back pearls. Boy, would that make that dimensional. And I'm, as you see, I've tried to stay pretty flat on the back. You know what I mean? Because it'll be constantly on it. So, no. Um, I have, look at my, look what I've got, guys. I've got toe shoes. <laughs> I've been buying stuff for this for several years. Again, though, look how dimensional. I need to keep flatter, you know? Mm. I also have, this is flat. I also have a, well, not flat, but kind of a sequin that... I could sew on by hand, but how about if I just glue that on with my gym tag? Thank you, Heather, for telling us about that. And then put, um, once that's dry, probably off camera, I will put just a little dot of either liquid pearls or some stickles in the center. For some reason, I don't like my sequins unless they're in a shaker to have nothing in them. I think because I used to sew them on fabric in the past, so maybe that's why I'm like, I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure why I'm like that, but yeah, because that'll keep, I mean, it won't be completely, but you know what I mean. It won't be as dimensional as if we do the other things. I'm looking at some of the, <clears throat> excuse me, some of the buttons that I've picked out in pink, but I'm, mm -mm, I just, I'm not liking them for that. We'll do this. So we need to adhere. Let me put this behind me. A lot of the stuff I pull, I put on the radiator behind me. Room is very limited here in the craft room, but I thank God I have a craft room, but it's tiny. Teeny tiny. Okay. So we'll adhere her. First, oh, let me clean this off. Okay. 
So I see a lot of people are going on vacation this year. Handsome and I won't be doing that. We talked about it. We thought about it. But he had to travel for work several times and I hope you all have a much better experience than he did. It wasn't. He says everything has changed so much. He used to travel, oh, almost every week. And um, he says it's changed a lot. There we go. And let's get this on there. Do you all like to decorate pockets and tags? Is what I mean. Some people will say that's the most fun of it all, but I don't know. Sometimes I like just making sure this fits or that. Oh, pardon my phone. This fits or that fits or, but of course the decorating is the most fun. I agree. <laughs> if you said yes. <laughs> now I'm going to try to go rather light with this because it will show up the Fabri-Tac because um, that is a very light weave here um, in the little tiny flower and in the center I can go more a little heavier handed oh oh that's cute I like it. And then let's get out our gym tag. I put it in here, but if y'all are interested in it, that's what it looks like. Permanent glue. It bonds rhinestones, crystals, sequins, and more to fabrics and accessories. I got mine on Amazon, I do believe. And I put it in this teeny tiny container because most of my stuff that I'm adhering is small. Let me wipe that end off. Okay, and I hang that upside down on my desk because I use it constantly. And just to make sure it's where I want it. There we go, guys. We did that one together. And I want to thank you all so much for joining me. And I hope you have, whoops, I'm not even in the center. I hope you have a wonderful morning, afternoon, or evening. Bye-bye, everybody. Take good care.